What's up? You come here often? Wonderful, thank you. All right, so it's another Fremont Friday. Wait a minute. I'm not on Fremont Street, and I'm also shrouded in darkness right now. Where exactly am I today? Woo! I am at Disneyland today. Well, downtown Disney to be exact. I wanna see what's going on, what they have open. Maybe get a park update, because you guys know how I am. Huge Disney dork. Chilling at the Lego store right now. Kind of looking at things. Let's go take a look inside, shall we? That is a gigantic, incredible Hulk Lego. Awesome. How much does this Millennium Falcon go for? They're sold out of this at the room. Oh yeah. So if you want to buy a Millennium Falcon Lego, and I'm talking, this thing's about a large pizza and a half size. It is, if it'll come into focus, $799. Doesn't look like it wants to come into focus. And that's what it is. You got a Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. Look, they got a camera. Are they gonna shoot a porn or something? That one is, I don't see a price for it. Hmm, I don't know. Let me look around some more. Of course, you gotta have the Disney castle in the Lego store. They got all kinds of neat little toys in here. This is the supporting National Geographic Explorers. $39 for the Mars, Search, the Mars Research Shuttle. Explore the world. If you want Legos, you're gonna find it in this store. I mean, it's crazy. So let's go over here and take a look at the wall. Pick a brick is now available. So, I don't know, it says small $8.99 and large $15.99. I don't know if that's, I know you can uh, choose from these style of bricks and then you get everything from this wall over here that's full of containers that are nothing but Lego bricks, Lego parts, Lego pieces. Just crazy. For those of you that are Harry Potter fans, and I know I got a few of you, there you go. The Wizarding World. For $229, you guys can build your very own I forgot what it was called. <laughs> the original PlayStation, I forgot what it was called. You remember what it was called? <laughs> it was the, oh, who knows? Sony and the S, the NES, the PlayStation NES. Anyway, this whole thing's made out of Legos. And the TV's made out of Legos, the Mario's made out of Legos. Very cool. There you go, this is one of the Lego employees. What's your name, boss? My name's Angel. This is Angel. Angel, how you doing? I'm doing great. How's business been since? Uh, I'm doing great, but we're gonna get the Christmas rush in. You think you? You think you're gonna get it in? Yeah. Well, that's awesome. I recommend you guys show up soon too. These Legos are gonna go away. 
Yep, this is an awesome store. Thanks for being on, man. Sure. Take it easy. <laughs>、so、I always wonder if I'm going to bump into a Disney vlogger while I'm here, but probably not because most of them have been at Knott's Berry Farm for the Halloween thing they had going on. But, you know, you never know. And Alan, if you happen to catch this video, I do apologize. This was kind of an impromptu visit, it wasn't planned. But you know me, anytime I'm in the area of Disneyland, I'm gonna check it out, and it's just all there is to it. This is the Jazz Kitchen. I've never eaten here, believe it or not, as many times as I've been in Disneyland. I've always wanted to, I haven't got to try it out yet. Maybe one of these times. And by the way, we're not actually in Disneyland. We are on, we are in downtown Disney. Let's take a look at the menu. So if you do decide to eat here, it's、uh, gumbo yaya, French quarter salad, dipping dots, popcorn calamari. The kids' menu is chicken tenders, penny pasta, and meatballs. And the sandwiches are fried BLT po' boy, jazz kitchen cheeseburger, and the impossible burger, which is plant based. And your entrees. Fried chicken Caesar salad, blackened salmon, and Nola barbecue shrimp and grits. The Jazz Kitchen. Sounds good to me. I think we're going to check out the home store. Oh, you just can't go in this way. But I wanted to get a cool shot of sign. You ladies are just fine. Sorry, you didn't have to bend over. <laughs> so I wanted to go into the home store, but it is、um, reservation system only. You can stand outside, give me your phone number, get your. Name on a list, and then you can go in. And I do highly suggest that if you get a chance, you go in that store because there are some awesome, awesome things in there. And it's not all cartoony Disney. There's a lot of very well, there's just a lot of really nice stuff in there. So if you get a chance, I would go in there and check it out. That is pretty awesome. The poison apple and their containers or jars for your kitchen for Halloween. That's really cool. And here's some of our pumpkin jars, Mickey pumpkin jars. How many of you knew Disney had a bar? The Uve bar, the Uva bar? One of the hotels that borders downtown Disney is the Grand Californian, which I have had the pleasure of staying in quite a few times. It's that green building you see in the background back there. And it is probably one of my favorite places ever. All right, so Disney or downtown Disney has these like concrete,、uh, I don't know, they're like planters, but everybody sits on them because they got this ledge. But for social distancing, they've put these. For your safety, please don't sit in this space. And then you got the gap where you can sit. And then a few more feet over, you got another sticker. So, this is the World of Disney store, and this is nuts. Being from Vegas, I'm not used to seeing, you know, back in the start of the pandemic, we had to have lines to go into stores, but this is still crazy in California. I, I just don't understand it. The back of the line is back here by the exit to the World of Disney store, and here's the line that goes all the way, way down there to the entrance before you can even get in the store. Nuts. Okay, so, so this morning on the drive here, the car said 65 degrees outside. I'm sweating like someone just shoved me in the oven with the cookies. It is, it is warm out here in California right now on this Saturday, or excuse me, 
on this Friday, this Fremont Friday at Downtown Disney. <laughs> By now you guys have already seen the video that I made, the Fremont Friday Rewind. Like I said, this was an impromptu trip, but there's a lot more to come and a lot more things I'm gonna see before I head back to Vegas on Sunday. So uh, don't stop here, keep going. I didn't bring the gimbal with me today, so I'm trying to walk as nicely as I can. As you can see, I'm not, but this is the line still. Oh, wait, this is the exit only. This isn't the entrance they're waiting for. They gotta jump this gap still, like Travis Pastrana at the X Games, and then they start off again over here and keep going in this line to still get way down there. So after walking for 45 minutes, I think I've finally almost made it to the entrance to the Disney, the World of Disney store. Line of foreverness that way. You know what's funny? This fountain always shuts off when I get up to it with my camera. It's like it knows I'm here. <laughs> All this wonderful food to eat, and I have to be on the diet today. Unbelievable. Oh, oh, is it gonna spout? Is it gonna spout? And there it is. I bring to you water. There it goes. So I'm out in front of Disneyland right now, the gates. You know, I can't really get in. They got it blocked off so we can't walk up and take pictures. This is California Adventure over here. And uh, it used to be one of the happiest places to be standing. Hopefully soon it will be. I watch all the Disney vloggers. I know they don't watch me. It's because they're chumps. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, just a quick walk through downtown Disney today to see what was going on and being from Vegas, our restrictions are a lot more lifted than theirs are, and we won't get into that, but hopefully soon they'll be able to eat in restaurants because we had a Cracker Barrel this morning and we had to sit outside in the parking lot under a tent. That wasn't any fun. So uh, I'm gonna walk back through downtown Disney, see what I can get into, I'm thirsty, I need to get something to drink. Hope you guys like it so far. Moving on. Look at those macaroons right there. How much are they? They vary in price. They vary in price. So they start at 275 and they go up to 390. They start at 275 and go up to 390. That's an oddly looking macaroon right there. Very nice. My man here walked up with a sign that says Halloween trivia. How many pumpkins are on the hill in the graveyard of the Haunted Mansion Holiday? Wow, and I'm a Disney nerd and I don't know the answer to that. What year was the first Halloween party at Disneyland Park? Which Disney California Adventure attraction changes every night during Halloween time? Hmm. So since you're a Disney fanatic, what year did Honda Mansion open? I don't remember. So that was 1969, so that is the answer for the first one was 69 pumpkin. Ah, 69, okay. The first Halloween party happened in 1995 and it was called Mickey's Halloween Street. First it only lasted until 96 and then they cut it because of low attendance. Oh yeah. It came back 2005 as Mickey's Halloween And now it's huge, yeah. yeah. And the last one, which Disney California Adventure attraction changes every night during how would that be what used to be the Halloween or the Tower of Terror? Yes, Guardians of the Galaxy. That's what I thought, yeah, because that one does change quite a bit as you're watching it, so that was kind of a no-brainer. So, well, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. What's your name? Junior. This is Junior. And he's walking around doing the Halloween trivia. All right, my man. <laughs> have a good one. You too. Thank you. Yep. The one store that didn't have a line was the Disney dress shop. Go figure. For any of you that want ears, those are poo ears. I don't know if those would be Tigger ears. I don't know. Oh, no. Those are pumpkin ears. And I don't know if those are poo ears. Anyway. 
Got some uh, some uh, pumpkin pajama pants. I don't see a price. We recommend cashless payment, but there's no prices on there. Actually, these are jammies, pumpkin jammies. And this is for all you ladies that like these kinds of purses. Disney shirt, sparkly, says boo. This is a Darth Vader dress. Are there price tags on these things? So I'm looking for a price tag. So the price tag for the on the Darth Vader is it's $128. Wow. For those of you that want to be Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas, the dress. I don't know what the I don't know if there's a price tag. Oh, there's a price tag right here. And the Sally dress is also $128. There's a zero sweatshirt. I'm not gonna read off all the prices, guys. Looks like we got a green Oogie Boogie sweatshirt over here. It's really cool. And there's your ears, Oogie Boogie, zero. Oogie Boogie shorts. Kind of a Disney, Disney character's purse, purses, coin bags, little bags, backpacks or whatever. Happiest place on earth. Some overall shorts. Socks. Tie, socks, whatever. There's a dress, women don't wear ties. Well, no, some of you do. Okay, so that's gonna do it for the whole downtown Disney tour today, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the thumbs up, click the subscribe button and the bell notification, so you know next time I upload a video, there's Beauty and the Beast, and I'll see you guys next time.